What's going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Messiah? This is part two. This is part two of the final push message uh, video uh, message or the video that I just made. I got cut off, so I had to make a part two of it. So uh, I was reading out of uh, Revelations. I was reading out of Revelations where where it clearly states that we are to endure into the end and that messiah says and commands us to endure into the end and not to be weak and want to escape or to be harpotzled or 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 raptured out of here so uh i was reading out i was reading reading the letter to the church of pergamos and the angel of the church in Pergamos write these things, saith, He wished the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat, seat is. And thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days wherein Antipas was, a, was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things, sacrifice unto idols, and to commit fornication. So thou, so hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the, Nic, uh, the, the, the Nic, Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent or else I will come against thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give, give to eat of the hidden manna and will give them a white stone and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth. And then um, we're going to continue in the 18 where where uh, it's a, le a letter written to uh, the church of Thi uh, Thi Thyatira and unto the angel of the church in, Thi in Thyatira, uh, uh, Thyatira write these things saith the son of a father who have his eyes like unto flames of fire and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works in charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which called, calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my service to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols i gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not behold i will cast her into a, a bed and them that commit adultery with her in great tribulation except they repent of their deeds and i will kill her children with death and all the churches shall know that i am which search, searcheth the reins and hearts I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But I say, but unto you I say, and unto the rest of, Thy uh, of Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. But that which ye are already hold fast until I come. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over all nations. And he shall rule them with a, a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall th th they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give them the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear that 
what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So there you go. There are multiple passages of scriptures that says that we need to overcome, go ten toes down, and endure until the end. Not um, sit here and keep keep hoping and and and, and having false hope on this man-made pushed secret rapture that is not going to happen only messiah's second coming and then we're going to go into uh revelations 3 we're going to go into revelations 3 where messiah is speaking to the church of sardis and unto the angel of the church in sardis write these things saith he that have the seven spirits of father and the seven stars i know thy works and thou hast a name that thou livest and art died or art dead be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are that are ready to die for i have not found thy works perfect before father remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, and they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed, in white raiment and i will not blot his name out of the book of life but i will confess his name before father and before his angels he that hath a ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches and then continuing continuing where messiah is speaking to the church of philadelphia and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these things, saith that he saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door that no man can shut it. For Thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet and know that I have loved thee. So Messiah is saying that he is going to make all the evildoers of this world come to the children of father's feet and worship them because thou hast kept the word of my patience i will keep thee from the hour of temptation he will keep us he will sustain us it, it doesn't say he's going to hard parcel us out of here he is going to keep us and sustain us in the hour of temptation Because it says it right here. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown or your mind. Don't, don't let nobody deceive you or pollute or corrupt your minds that's what that means right there when it says behold i come quickly hold that which hold fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown or thy or your mind <clears throat> he that overcometh will i make a pillar in the temple of father and he shall no more go out and i will write upon him the name of father and the name of the city of my father which is new jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from father and i will write upon him a new name he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches 
And then finally, the letter to Lady, o, uh, 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 Lady Osea. And unto the angel of the churches of Lady Osea, write, Lady Oseans, write, these things saith the, the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of Father. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. So he wants you to either be on fire for him or to be cold, but not to be lukewarm. Because if you are lukewarm, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. So if you're a lukewarm Christian, um, either you need to be cold or you need to be on fire for Father and for Messiah. But if you're lukewarm and you stay in that lukewarm uh, state, Messiah is going to spew you out of his mouth like like a watered down like a watered down soda that tastes nasty. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest that knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked every single last one of us no not one of us are perfect we are all vile and disgusting and wretched and miserable and poor and blind every single last one of us we are all a filthy rags none of us are without spot or blemish i counsel thee to buy of my gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see, as many as I love I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous therefore and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant a seat with me in my throne, even so as I also overcame and am set down by, with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So multiple times Messiah has said that we need to endure, endure until the end. Multiple times. We need to endure and overcometh and endure until the end. Okay? It doesn't say that he's going to harpazo us out of here or rapture us out of here. But the, he did promise... Per per um per, per per uh in one of the letters to the seven churches that he will keep us and sustain us in the hour of temptation when the son of perdition comes and pushes the mark of the beast and 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 also he will sustain us through the great tribulation. So stop being weak, people, and know that you're covered. By the blood of Messiah. Stop being weak and know that Father and Messiah promised to keep us. He made a covenant with all of us that said he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. So. People wake up. You're not being raptured out of here. You will go through tribulation unless Father God shortens your days. And calls you home before the tribulation. But that's the only way you will escape. There's no other way that you will escape. Period. To all, all you people who are put, pushing this pre-trib rapture. I am, you've been warned. I am warning you. If you do not stop what you are doing. Then you will be held accountable for every idle word and every idle message that you push out. Father is not 
the father is not the, the author of confusion. He is not the author of anxiety and depression and fear. And that's what the rapture is doing. Every time a, a date is set, people get their hopes up. And then when it doesn't come to fruition, they're crushed. Many people have killed themselves because Messiah didn't come back. Many people have quit their jobs and waited for that date to come. Sold their houses, sold everything. And those who, and, and do, and those who did kill themselves or their faith was crushed because uh, the, uh, the date was set and it didn't come, their blood is on your hands. You have been warned. If you keep going, if you keep pushing this fake rapture, Messiah is going to look at you when you stand in front of the great white throne of judgment and say to you, flee from me. I never knew you, you evil worker of iniquity. Flee from me, you evil worker of iniquity. I never knew you. You've been warned. If you keep it up, you're going to hell. And you're going to take a lot of people to hell with you. And their blood will be on your hands. And you will have to give an account to Father for that. So with that being said, I love you as all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. Father loves you. Father bless you. Father keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.